this review, this is the Mountain Smith Parallax. Uh, again, full disclosure, I purchased my own backpacks. Uh, these are not provided to me in any way. Uh, I will review them as I use them. Um, I won't hold back where it needs it. Uh, this was the very first Mountain Smith backpack that I purchased. Um, I bought it because of the depth of it. Um, the, this is advertised with a nine inch depth. I shoot with a Red Dragon camera um, and I need enough depth to get that in there. Um, so I, I bought this one as my first trek into Mountain Smith. And it's a pretty good design. Um, there are a few limitations on it, and there's a reason why I went to the Borealis as my favorite, but uh, let's go through it. So it is their largest camera backpack. Uh, it is a 30 and a half liter total capacity. Uh, they claim six pounds, 12 ounces dry. I think it might be a little lighter than that. I haven't weighed it. Um, but it, it does not feel that heavy. Again, YKK zippers all around. Um, it's got waterproof fabric coating. Cushions on this, uh, 23 inches tall, 13 inches wide, nine and three quarters deep. Uh, again, as I stated earlier, these packs can get a little thinner than that. So if you are going maybe overseas, you could probably squish this down to fit it in. Uh, I have had no problems on air, airplanes with these. Um, pretty good. So in here, first little section, you have uh, basically places for pins and little knickknacks of stuff. Maybe you put your glasses in there. Um, I forget what they said that was for. Fairly deep pocket, that's on the front. Um, right here is another pocket. Uh, this pocket is also two, two chambered. Um, you can put something in each. Um, on the sides, you have this strap here, which basically allow you to cinch up your bag a little bit tighter if you need to. Uh, I use them on the other side to hold uh, tripods. I have put in, this is my little travel series, I don't know which one it is, a little carbon fiber uh, tripod. Um, I use, I've used a Manfrotto, um, the 190X Pro carbon fiber, I believe it is with a, a large um, uh, 502 head on it. It's no problem at all. You can just use the strap system, come around it. Uh, this pocket expands greatly and you can just cinch it up. Um, let's see here. So strapping, again, they're using that nice, very soft padded, um, I guess it's probably a moisture wicking fabric of some kind. Um, it's really good, really good feeling on your shoulders, a uh, little weight. You have uh, adjustments here. Let's see if I can get it on there. Try this side. Uh, you can adjust how much the strap holds out. Um, again, I'm not a professional backpacker, so I don't know all these terms. But you can adjust this, which allows for shorter people. Um, really high quality handle here. Uh, very thick, very durable. Um, they use that, that anvil um, armory suspension. So you have nice soft pads here. And then your spine is cooled by this open channel right through here. Um, same as the others down below, you actually have, there's a rain fly in there. So you can put that over your entire batter, uh, backpack. There's actually a little loop here. You can put your tripod through that. 
if it's thin enough and get it in there. It's not super thick, so you can't get a lot of tripods in there. This down here, this pocket is huge. Uh, that is plenty big for many, many tripods. So on the top, you have access here to your insides. Now, this is one of the complaints that I have uh, about this backpack. Uh, it is designed almost exclusively um, as a camera backpack. Uh, yeah, there's one other part right here. We got this part, very important part. This is your laptop area. Something that I didn't see any other reviews that, that showed. So there's a sleeve in here, it's padded, nice and thick. There's another sleeve for an iPad. And go in there so you can see there's my 15 inch MacBook Pro. There's plenty of room in there. You could pull that out all the way to there. So 17 inch, no problem in here. Um, this is the little iPad slot. Oddly enough, it fits in there. <coughs> um, that's good laptop area but this was as I was saying earlier this is designed almost exclusively as a camera backpack and that's my beef with it it has a lot of room inside it's very deep um, it is that rear access model so you're not pulling from the the, the front um, the good part of that is you set it down in the snow, your front is dirty, your back is not, so you don't put wet on your, your back again. This is all open. Um, we'll go into detail in here, but this is, I would say 90% of the volume of this is designed for cameras, uh, <coughs> lenses, batteries, what have you. Almost no room for anything else. This backpack here, the Borealis, um, just as much usable space for me, uh, for camera gear, but I have room in the top for other things. So let's I'll try to lean this in. So uh, you know, what do I have in here? Uh, this is a Sigma uh, 150 to 600. <coughs> that fits in the bottom really easily. Um, no problems at all getting that in there. Um, I've got, you got, um, there's room here for a small lens or lens cap, uh, a lens here. I've got a broken on lens here. You can put another lens here. Uh, this is my 2X expander right here. Um, into this compartment right here, I have the Canon 70 to 200. Um, Fits in there, no problem at all. Um, I mean, there's, th this camera bag is so deep that although I put these in here, you could, if you had enough padding, you could stick more um, lenses on top. There's enough, enough depth. That's um, really hard to see here. Try that. Really, really tough to see. So in here, the close up there, I mean, this is a giant cavern here, all the way up. Um, you can see all the different spaces. It is about nine inches deep inside. Um, then right through here, this is the top access. So it's configurable. Uh, they've got hook and loop almost everywhere. There's a gripe on that. Um, so you can configure it to kind of partition off, but if I partition it, say halfway or, or a third down, I open up the back, it can fall straight out. There's no block there. Um, if I go in through the top, I can reach all the way through and grab whatever's at the top, but not, uh, not the best design, uh, but Again, if you're trying to trek a whole bunch of camera gear, I mean, this bag is designed 
just almost exclusively for camo gear. Uh, on this uh, back flap here, you got red and green uh, for batteries, uh, good batteries and bad batteries. I'm not really sure why they expect you to have more bad batteries than good batteries, because this is almost twice the size, but okay. Um, the hook and loop in here, um, it's missing in some places. Um, I'm trying to remember the configuration that I was trying to do. When I tried to get my red in here, I needed to attach to various, um, create some angles in there. Not every uh, partition that they have has hook and loop on it. So you can't just join kind of crossways. Um, <laughs> the original design here is this. Let's see, I've got it sealed up. But you're supposed to take the zoom medium, which this comes with, it slides right in there, and you can pull it straight out and then zip it right back up. So that is super convenient if you're you know, shooting digital SLRs um, and that's all you're shooting. But let's look at that for a second. To get that back, that piece in here, this bag into here, you've just eaten up half of your entire backpack for this convenience of being able to pull this out. Which guess what, if you pull this out and put it on the front of you, you're not carrying anything in there. That's kind of a waste. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a cool backpack or cool uh, shoulder bag. Um, and this is a fairly cool backpack, but this not that convenient for me. Uh, again, this is all my opinion on my use. Uh, other people might find that truly amazing and, and super beneficial. And you know, I, I'm fine with that. Uh, my, my needs were very specific. Uh, so hook and loop, I'd like to see hook and loop on every possible configuration so that I can bend and twist and, and use different angles. Um, I would like to see, um, I would like to see the, uh, this is somehow divided. But again, this, this bag may not need to be adjusted at all. Um, it is built specifically for this style of user. Um, and I'm not that style of user. Probably why they make this one. Um, we'll just go from there. So um, th again, they have a really nice hip suspension uh, or hip support system, really good quality um, latches. Uh, we've loaded these things down. I think uh, my wife and I, we carried these, our trip to California. Uh, we were somewhere close to 40 pounds in each. Um, and I mean, cinch that down, put it on your hips. Uh, it takes all the weight off your shoulders. It makes a huge difference. Some nice little pockets on on the, uh, look, more green from good batteries. Um, for here, a um, little netting on this side. Um, the front has the chest clip. You go across there to tighten it up. Uh, this is also, they, they provide two um, connection points on here. This is where you would connect the uh, zoom medium to come around that way it, it, it's around the front and it's still connected to your body um, I mean that's well thought out it's just I don't I don't see a need for it um, okay I think that's pretty much my interview on the parallax uh, if you have any questions about it uh, just hit me up comment below I'll be happy to answer anything that that I didn't touch on um, again these are my bags, my purpose, my use, um, and my opinions for, for how that fits. Um, so thank you.